today. All right, hello, wine drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday, and it's been a busy month of March. A lot of drinking going on, and I don't know why we don't call this what I had to drink last month because it takes us about two or three weeks to get these out. So much wine, so little time. Anyways, we had one of the landmark properties of um, the Santa Rita Hills in Santa Barbara, Ganey, which owns vineyards in both of those appellations. And this is three generations now. They own 200 acres. Uh, everything here is 100% estate fruit. And uh, these guys uh, make great wines and very reasonably priced for what they are. That's what happens when you own the land for a long time. And uh, 60 different lots go into this first line, the Chardonnay Santa Rita Hills. And uh, I got that wrong. 60 seems like an awful lot. But anyways, very distinct mineral-driven bouquet here from the wines from the Santa Rita Hills. I love the Chardonnay and the Pinot Noir coming out of this cold climate. This wine sees 60-40 oak to steel, 40% mallow. They get such bright acidity, they don't have to do 100% mallow with these wines. And uh, green apple, green pear fruit. Really clean and focused bouquet of aromas here. Bright and tangy mineral-laced finish. And uh, this wine has got um, a nice zest to it, nice fresh fruit, a very clean uh, style of Chardonnay. And like I said, very mineral driven, the wines here from Santa Rita Hills. The Chardonnay's excellent juice at $22.50. Then the Sauvignon Blanc, which uh, the vines for this wine are 30 years old. So this wine's got a good amount of lime, citrus, and green melon fruit with some light briny notes on the nose. A clean and focused wine on the tongue with that mouth-watering lime, citrus, green melon fruit, and a slight briny character, giving the wine almost an impression of spritz on your tongue. And uh, leaves the tongue salivating for food. Something we love about Sauvignon Blanc. An excellent little Sauvignon Blanc for $15. Sauvignon Blanc is a cheap date. Wow. Pinot Noir, which is what uh, a lot of people are excited about from this part of California, Santa Barbara County, all from Evans Ranch. Only 250 cases of this wine made, though. A beautiful bouquet here. Fresh flowers, red cherry pie fruit, dark raspberry coulis, really exotic spices in this wine. Cola, really nice richness here on the nose and following through on the palate. This wine is smooth and silky. One of the things we love about Pinot Noir, the uh, texture on the tongue, really sexy, red berry fruit, a good hand of spice and floral notes through the finish. Really nice freshness in this wine, nice balance, an excellent bottle of Pinot at $32.75. All three wines excellent so far. And then Merlot from San Inez Valley. Well, hey, I don't even know why we're talking about this. There's only two cases of this 08 available, but it may still be available at $18. What a great little Merlot. I should have bought both cases right there on the spot. And it's got a little bit of Cabernet Franc in the blend. This is a single vineyard wine. They produce over just 2,000 cases of this Merlot here. Merlot likes a little cooler climate, so natural that it does well in this part of California. Plum and cherry fruit shown with hints of tobacco spice. Milk chocolate and fine herbs on the nose. This wine's rich and fruity on the tongue with chunky berry fruit. Uh, solid core there. Lovely freshness. Big Merlot, uh, but still nicely balanced. An excellent little more low at $18, as was everything from Ganey. Really great wines. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.